Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is for all of you freshers out there. So if you don't know by now, eBay is hiring for software engineers and they are accepting applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity for all of you looking for their first job. As you know, eBay is a pretty good company to work at. So in this video, we'll be talking about the role, we'll be talking about the eligibility, we'll be talking about how you can get your resume shortlisted and we'll be talking about how you can eventually clear the interviews. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and let's get started. Now, just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about all of the off-campus hirings and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a college student or a fresher looking for a job right now, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you'll be seeing a lot of hiring alert videos and guides on cracking them. Now, coming back to this opportunity with eBay, let's get the eligibility out of the way first because a lot of people wonder about the eligibility. So if you graduated in 2025 or before, then you are eligible for this, okay? Or if you even have zero to two years of experience, you're eligible. So again, if you're 2025 graduate, if you're graduating in 2025, or if you graduated before that, then you are eligible for this. Okay. That is the eligibility. But if you still have any doubt, let me know in the comments. I'll be there to clarify it for you. Now let's talk about how to get your resume shortlisted, because of course that is the most important thing. Now, what are the things that you need to put in your resume so that you have a better chance of getting shortlisted? Let's talk about that. So. The first thing is the programming language. What is the programming language that will give you an edge here? So the programming language that will give you an edge here is Java. Okay, so if you're well versed with Java, if you have done coding in Java, make sure to have it in your resume. Okay, and if you don't know Java, you can learn it and then put it in the resume. That is fine as well. Okay, so make sure that you have some knowledge of Java and make sure to keep Java in your resume. That is the programming language that is going to give you a bit of an edge here. Now, of course, apart from the programming language, the most important part of your resume is the projects that you have in it. Now, for the projects, if you have web dev projects, again, if you have front end, back end, then that will give you a bit of an edge. Of course, if you work with Java related technologies like Spring, Spring Boot or Spring related frameworks, that will also give you a bit of an edge. Okay, so these are the two main things that you need to keep in your resume. Apart from this, I'll give you a list of keywords that you can put in your resume to match with the JD so that it will make sure that you have a better chance of getting your resume shortlisted. So you will find a list of all of those keywords that are relevant in the description box. So you can add those keywords. You don't need to add all of them. If you keep some of them, that will give you a great edge. But again, again, let me remind you, do not put anything in your resume that you're not confident about. The good thing that you can do is learn it first and then put it in your resume. Okay. So the entire list is in the description box. Apart from that, I've already told you what all you need to do for your resume. Now, once you prepare your resume the right way, you'll have a very good chance of getting shortlisted because not a lot of on hands-on experience is required from freshers. Okay. If you're able to show a decent resume, that will be good enough for getting shortlisted. Rest will be cleared in the interviews. But if you have Java related things, that will give you a great help or great hand. Now you can also go down the route of referral. And if you're asking someone for referral, make sure to put in the job ID or the role ID. Again, it will be in the description box along with the link to apply. So if you're asking for referral, find any eBay employee that is already working and then just send them your resume with a drive link and send them the role ID, job ID along with a couple of lines. And that will be pretty great. So you can go down the route of referrals as well. Now, after you do everything the way I've mentioned, you'll have a great chance at getting shortlisted. And after getting shortlisted, the next thing that will come across are going to be the interviews. Now, the interviews at eBay are not going to be that difficult. They are going to revolve around your skills, your resume and a bit of problem solving and a bit of OOD, which is object oriented design, just at a very basic level. And it will be about a bit of CS fundamentals as well. So that is in general what the interviews are going to be about. But what I'll be doing, I'll be giving you some interview experiences of eBay in the description box. So what you can do, you can have a look at them and basically know exactly what eBay asks. Okay. Because your interview questions are going to be very similar to what they have asked in the past, which is why interview experiences are so, so, so important. So I'll be giving you two or three interview experiences of recent uh, people who have appeared for eBay's interviews or have cracked eBay's interviews. Make sure that you go through them. That will help you a lot in understanding what is expected of you and what kind of questions can come in the interview. And so that you can prepare accordingly. And whatever the things that I mentioned, like problem solving about Java or about other things, the resources to prepare are in the description box. Everything you need to get your resume shortlisted and everything that you need to prepare for the interviews will be in the description box. Okay. And of course, if you want to get your resume reviewed by me, then I do review resume reviews on top mate. You'll find the link to that in the description box as well. You can get your resume reviewed by me on from there. So that's pretty much it. If you do all of these things, if you prepare well, 
your resume and if you prepare well for the interviews you have a great chance at getting shortlisted and cracking the role at ebay let's go through the description box properly and make a proper resume so that's pretty much it and even if you don't get selected do not worry because you'll be seeing a lot more opportunities this time is about hiring and from next month a lot of companies are going to start hiring so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any update and yeah let's see you in the next video